Hi gang, Rob here. It is the morning of 31 December 2015. It is New Year's Eve day and I brought you a little review today of a product that if you don't know about, you need to. If you are a gun and knife enthusiast and a maintainer of your gear, you need a Presto Gun Blue Pen. Uh, I had no idea this Sharpie looking thing existed and I think when I did my last video on a Strider when I got my SNGCC I was talking about a lock stick and Striders and um, you know resigning ourselves to the fact that they just need Sharpie from time to time um, you'll notice mine is whisper quiet upon unlocking and you'll notice that the tang of my blade is looking a little funny because one of the viewers that watched my uh, SNG video said hey you need to go get a Presto gun blue pen it's way better than Sharpie <laughs> and frankly he was right so I, I I got one in my Christmas stocking and here it is and so I thought I would show you a little bit about how to use it on the blade tang of a titanium frame lock non-inserted knife. And I thought, you know, while we're at it, while we've got it out, um, let's make our Caltech P3AT look better than new. And guys, if you are owners of original blued slide Caltech P3ATs and you actually carry your gun, I know this one looks like I don't, but I do. Uh, you know that your slide gets uh, pretty silver and shiny, and they do rust easily. So let's kind of look at, this is the gun finished, by the way. Let's look at where it came from, and let, let's look at uh, the processes by which we put this little $9 deal to good use. Man, I'm telling you, um, what a great product. And no, Presto is not paying me for this. This is just something you guys need to know about. So uh, stick with me, and we'll kind of go through it step by step on both these items and uh, see how it works. Okay, guys, so we're going to take the Presto Gun Blue Touch Up Pen and use it for two kind of common manly endeavors. First of all, we're going to try to re-blue some areas of my trusty and a bit rusty Caltech P3AT. We're going to uh, remove the slide. Going to go at it with a little bit of steel wool. And as you can see, it's got some areas of pretty significant pocket wear. And we're going to see we can do a little maintenance and restoration on that with the Presto gun blue pen and we're gonna treat the lock face of this here strider knife so I'm gonna uh, do a little cleanup move the strider out of the way a minute go grab some supplies break the gun down and <clears throat> we'll go at it okay we've got our slide assembly broken down off the gun and I've already hit this with a wire brush and removed most of the rust you saw and now let's uh, go at it with a little steel wool getting those nooks and crannies a little better
Okay, I think we've got all the rust removed. And you know, not bad rust, it was just sort of powdery rust. You know, this gun spends a lot of time in my pocket, in a pocket holster. You know, even when mowing the lawn, things like that. So that, that will happen, and a lot of wear. So now, we're going to go at this with a little acetone to degrease it. First with the Q-tip, getting in all those nooks and crannies. And the slide serrations. This must be one of the rougher areas of machining on this gun because you know the rougher the finish on a piece of carbon steel the more it's going to tend to rust in that area and the slide serrations tend to be the worst area that and this little area by the rear sight and the other reason I think it rusts in these two areas is because they are exposed they're not inside the pocket holster and I run that little remora pocket holster on this <clears throat> gun now we're gonna take some acetone and a paper towel and do the rest of this slide just to make sure I get an even an even bite with the chemicals into the surface of this gun. I should probably be wearing gloves on that same For that same reason, but I'm not. Okay, that's it. So the directions are gonna say, let you guys read them if I can get a focus. There we go. It just says to degrease it, apply the pen. Rinse with water, anything to neutralize it. I think acetone will work as well. And then blend with steel wool. So, and I've played around with this a little bit. I know that uh, it takes a little time to work. So here we go. It says it's not for use on stainless steels. But I've actually had a little success working with this stuff on stainless for touching up uh, for touching up choil areas of coated knives that I've worked on What I'm doing is kind of hitting all the corners where I get some wear from my pocket. You guys know if you own a P3AT in this original blued finish that uh, bluing is not the strength <laughs> of Keltec. Okay. Now we're going to come into these serrations.
Boy, that's looking good. I'll come over here to the other side. You know, one viewer once told me I sound like that dude, Bob, what's his name, on the old PBS art show, you know, had the pretty little clouds and stuff. I'm not sure I agree with that. But. but I'm kind of channeling Bob now as I do my duty with my bluing touch-up pen. I'm just going to try to catch all these corners. Where we might have had a little pocket wear as we do this. Not doing the whole slide, just Hitting those wear areas around the front side. This seems to be an area that gets a lot of wear just from going in and out of the holster. And right around the nose of the slide. Okay, come down here along the bottom. <laughs> okay, so there it is, and it's sort of raw state. Looks like this area might want a little more. Okay, we're going to set that aside for a while and now we're going to grab the second patient. Be right back. Okay, now our other use for the Presto Gun Blue Pen a viewer tells me is preventing lock stick on titanium frame lock knives and this guys is my trusty Strider SNG and it's got a little lock stick as you can hear and <clears throat> I've already cleaned this but we're gonna do it again just for good measure I had a little sharpie on this and took it off before I made the video. You can still just see a little wear mark in the blade tang. That's again acetone. And I've got uh, a little clear packing tape on the frame and the G10 scale just to make sure I don't uh, do anything I don't want to do with that pen but now this blade is S30V and I'm gonna show you it's gonna take a little time uh, but it will actually work on stainless
but we're going to give that a generous helping and we're going to leave that sit a few minutes see right now it's kind of barely discolored and we're going to leave that sit about five minutes and come back and take a look and probably do this maybe three times okay there's a couple minutes of uh, cure time you can see there is a pretty good line of demarcation between the untreated surface and what I did with the gun blue pen. Now we're going to go give it another shot here. You can, I think, see that the area of the tang that was already discolored just from locking up with the titanium is maybe taking this a little better than the rest. Okay, so there's a there's application number two, and we'll wait a few minutes, maybe do one more, we'll call it good. Okay, there's. Now we're looking after our second application. Now we're getting some color. Gonna do this once more, leave it set, and then hit it with some acetone to neutralize it and clean it up and see where we are, see how our lock's performing. Be right back. All right, look at that. I think you can see we've done something. I don't know. I don't know if we've helped anything, but we've done something. So now, let's get a little acetone on the key tip. And let's clean that up and stop the chemical reaction. Whoops, I had you guys out of frame. This is the dry side now. Okay, we're going to take off our packing tape. Maybe. Maybe we are. Okay, moment of truth. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's snapping it open with a pretty good bit of finger pressure on the lock bar. Um, inaudible stick like you get um, on a Sebenza. How's our lock surface looking? Looks like the wear. Man, that's pretty doggone impressive, guys. Now, that's better than Sharpie or pencil lead. And look. Hardly, hardly leaving a mark. You guys know, if you have a strider or other frame lock that's prone to stick, It wears off pretty quick when you use Sharpie. Huh. Now what we're not going to do on this on this uh, <laughs> blade tang is oil it. Not going to do it. We've neutralized the chemical reaction. So it's not going to continue to react. But you don't want to put any oil on there, guys. Interesting. Um, okay, now let's go to our slide. 
So here's what this looks like now. You can see the oxidation is kind of happening. We're going to want to kill that reaction right quick. It's been on there, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So we're going to the acetone. Don't really want to use water. Could use water, but I'd rather not. Let's go to the Q-tip. Get into these serrations. By the way, I did lie to you while I was off camera waiting for stuff to dry on the knife I just went ahead and colored the whole doggone slide and we need a little more go up and get this front sight area Okay, now it says blend with steel wool. So let's do a little blending. Get these serrations first. Kind of go over everything. Knock down our contrast if we have any. Here. Get rid of any steel wool fragments that we got. Whoops, I moved my towel. fresh paper towel and a little gun oil and let's see what we got got a little hops number nine I'm just gonna give this thing a generous amount of uh, droplets And then we'll just rub it in. Get 
the dry end of my Q-tip and make sure I got good coverage in my serrations. Okay. I'm going to uh, wipe this down and uh, finish kind of doing a quick little slide clean and stuff. And I'll put the old Caltech back together and we'll see what it looks like after. Okay, here we are, all reassembled, oiled up, and looking good. Um, man, this trusty little pocket pal was looking a little nasty, I have to say. And well, let's look closely. Here's Here are our serrations. They had a good deal of rust. Here's our rear sight. I had a lot of rust in that cup area. Here are the serrations on the other side. Man. A lot of that corner wear and inconsistencies gone I'm really happy with this I don't know how long it's gonna last but heck it looks better than it did when it was new <laughs> so that guys is uh, gonna do it for our quick preliminary review of the presto gun blue pen and I'm saying I love it. Uh, less than $10 at your local sporting goods establishment. Go get you one. You're going to need it. That is all for this one, my friends. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp. <laughs>